Hi guys, welcome to this year's makeshift Vlogtober. Um, it is the 1st of October today and it's a Thursday so it feels like an odd time to be starting this because as I said in my October TBR video, I don't think I'll be able to do daily vlogs for October for this year which is really sad, I'm really sad about it. Um, not just because I'm not doing anything but for various different reasons. I just don't think it would work this year. Things can change in a heartbeat at the moment and um, yeah I don't want to promise you guys something that I can't deliver and that I can't deliver well. So I won't be daily vlogging this year which is really really sad. I'm just as disappointed as you guys are. Um, I wish that things were different but um, instead I'm going to do kind of weekly vlogs so I am going to film throughout the week um, just so you guys get a bit of a lengthier vlog each week and we'll just see how we get on with that hopefully that works well but obviously it's a Thursday today um, but I did want to start on the 1st of October because it only feels right to mark the start of this month properly um, which means I think you'll get a vlog of kind of the next three days um, I don't think I'll vlog every single day particularly not on weekends probably because I am valuing my rest time at the moment very much so um, but yeah I probably won't vlog every single day but I will vlog as much as I can and um, keep it as interesting as possible for you guys uh, not yeah not to say that these <laughs> weekly vlogs are going to be action-packed by the way hopefully we'll have a nice time together this month and I'm excited about it uh, so yes, I am surrounded by books. They're all on the floor. Um, we've been sorting out stuff on the bookshelves, as I said in my October TBR, very boring, which I filmed yesterday. I'm hoping it'll all be cleared up in time for my September books video, which I'm going to film tomorrow. But yes, I am up. I'm ready for the day, as you can see. Um, I am trying on weekdays to put makeup on and sort of get dressed but um, I'm not often in like proper proper clothes at the moment <laughs> but I am trying to sort of look a little bit decent because it helps with productivity to some degree. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, Do you know what, if I had to get ready properly today I would not get any work done because that would be stressful so <laughs> I just sort of work in my pyjamas. but. Yes, most days it's kind of good to get ready, but the plan today, I have got to finish The New Wilderness, which I know is a bit of a cheat because it's now October and it was my September, one of my September book club books, um, but I did not finish it yesterday. So I'm going to spend a couple of hours, I think it should take me about three hours to finish it, so I'm going to spend about three hours this morning finishing that, um, which is just the best. It's been book week this week for me because I wanted to film my October TBR and I wanted to film my September books video and I wanted to write my reviews. So that's the other thing that I'm doing today which is write my reviews and sort of sometimes um, I get too tired after writing my reviews and I don't write like a separate notes for my video but um, if all goes to plan I will also write kind of a separate book notes for the video which is like specifically for speaking as opposed to written the written word um so yes this is probably one of the days i find the hardest every month so yeah at the end of every month and the beginning of the next month i'm trying to you know sort out all this book stuff to make sure the videos go up on time for you the rest of the afternoon after finishing my book will be spent writing reviews and i have to say it is something that i sort of dread doing every month because um yeah you have to articulate all your disparate thoughts about a book and somehow make it comprehensible um and it can be really tricky i definitely could spend a lot longer on my reviews i know that lots of people that i follow um, really write these beautiful reviews and you can tell that they spent a lot of time on them but because I write reviews for literally every single book I read and there's so much other stuff going on I just don't really have the time to dedicate <laughs> I just don't have the time to dedicate to every single book review so um, but still they still require a lot of brain power but we will we will do our best some end up better than others. But anyway, I am hungry, so I'm going to go and eat now. 
and you made some banana bread the other day. So I'm gonna have some banana bread for breakfast. just finished the new wilderness it took me longer than i thought it would because i was faffing around basically um and i liked it i enjoyed reading it and i'm sure you've already watched me well if you watched my september books video you've already seen me ch chat about it but um i didn't think it was like amazing um in terms of its literary offerings um, but I did enjoy it. I kind of enjoy slow paced, nature based books. Um, so I think for me, it definitely worked more than some of the other books on the list. But I do understand why some people don't enjoy it. It is quite slow. Um, it's very much about like humans in the wilderness and what that might do to relationships and the mother and daughter relationships relationship but yeah i think it was missing some kind of major things that would have elevated it um in order to make it sort of in my mind um booker worthy but of course it is shortlisted for the booker so and i am not a judge so what do i know <laughs> um anyway i need to find something to eat because it's definitely lunchtime now and it's been a while since i ate my banana bread so um but i don't know what i want don't know what I want. I find lunch is hard because um, just what are you supposed to eat for lunch? <laughs> I don't know anymore. We've gone for an old favourite, the classic filled pasta and pesto. <laughs> so I've had my lunch, even though it's very late lunch. I don't know where the time has gone today and I'm going to start writing my reviews. As you can see, I am in bed. I'm going to write them from bed today because my laptop was up here. And I didn't want to take it all the way downstairs. And Zach is editing on the big computer, so I'm gonna do that. However, I realised now I've finished New Wilderness, I can actually probably start on my October TBR. I feel like I never thought this day would come when I could just take a break from the booker. So, as I said in my September books, which I actually haven't filmed yet, but you will have seen it first. <laughs> um, I, I have got four books left i think who they was this morning of body the mirror and the light maybe it's just those three maybe it's just those three um have got those left of the long list but they're not even announcing the winner of the booker um until the 19th of november so i realized i don't have to keep pushing on i can just concentrate on my october tb half now have a bit of fun and then return to it um, in November with just a few books left. So I think that will be really nice. And then once I come back to it, hopefully I'll feel refreshed. Um, so I picked a book from my TBR and for some reason, Neverwhere was calling out to me. It wouldn't be the book that I thought I was kind of most excited about, but I just, I just feel like it. I don't know. So uh, we're going to start with Neverwhere. I'm excited for it. But I can't stop that yet because <laughs> I need to write these um, reviews. So wish me luck. I'm going to put my noise cancelling headphones on and hopefully um, it will all come to me naturally. So yes, but anyway, let me get on with that. Okay, my loves. So it is a few hours later, as you may be able to tell, it is dark outside. Um, and about an hour into writing the reviews when i was like three reviews in i was like i'm gonna give up i'm gonna write the rest tomorrow but i just kept plugging on i just sort of kept being like oh, i'll just write this next paragraph and i managed to write all the reviews um eventually i feel like i also like reach a certain point i feel like this is true with lots of writing where it takes you like an hour an hour an hour and a half or it takes me an hour an hour and a half to sort of um get into the writing zone and before that it's just like an complete struggle and it feels like nothing is working and my brain isn't working but once you're into the flow it gets a little bit easier so um so I have finished and I'm gonna go and eat some dinner now 
Um, I think it's almost ready, which is perfect timing. I didn't write my book notes for the video. I've written a couple um, of them for a couple of the books, but I haven't written them all. So I think I will actually do that tomorrow morning just before I film. Um, hopefully, having written these reviews, I can let them stew now for like 12 hours or so and then come back to them and write some nice notes for my video as well. But yes, I'm feeling good. I'm really glad that I got that done because that would have really annoyed me if I had given up. But anyway, I'm gonna go and eat dinner. I think Indy's watching The Corpse Ride, so I'm gonna go and watch that with her as well. We have got tacos. I'm very excited and very hungry. to bed nice and early because that is just the vibe these days so um the vlog will obviously continue as normal so i'll see you tomorrow for some friday fun i don't know what we're gonna do nothing probably on Friday because this morning like I said I did my kind of notes for my video specifically it took me a little while and then I had some lunch and then I really didn't want to get ready I'm like ready to film today but I really didn't want to have to shower and put makeup on but I pushed through <laughs> and then I just put my shelves back together um, obviously so that they look a little bit neater in the background of my video and the issue is resolved so that was nice and now I'm going to film my September books video but first I need a cup of tea how cute is my new headband from Jennifer Bear not focused but so gorgeous you'll see it in my books video hi my sweet angel children so I have just finished filming I took my headband I can zoom you out a little bit I took my headband off because as beautiful as it was, when we're getting comfy, we don't need it on. But it was beautiful. So, and I obviously got into a jumper because coziness. I'm actually chilly in the house today, which I kind of love. I don't like being overly warm in the house. I actually like cooler rooms and I like to put jumpers on so I can feel cozy and warm, cozy socks. Um, that is my vibe. I am not a warm house kind of gal. But anyway, that's some knowledge that you probably didn't know about me. Um, but anywho, what, what was I doing? What was I saying to you all? Something. So I finished filming my September books video. I was supposed to edit that today as well. But it is like almost 6pm on a Friday. So I'm like, mm, don't think I'll do that. Um, so I think you are going to have a very bookish weekend this weekend. We well, should have just had a very bookish weekend because, um, or maybe I'll put one of them up on Monday. I don't know. But my TBR is edited, but I think I'll put that live tomorrow because I still have to watch it through and do all the bits and bobs for it. And like I said, it's 6 p.m. on Friday. Um, and then I need, I think what I'll do is just edit the book video tomorrow. I have been pretty good about not working on weekends. I pretty much don't do it at all at the moment, but yeah. I really want to get these book videos up for you um, at it in, a, in a kind of decent time frame. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Anyway, I'm really hungry. All that talking has made me very hungry again. I had a fur for lunch, um, which was nice. 
but yes I am glad I filmed it because there was a time earlier today when I was like I'm just not gonna do it um I don't want to get ready and then I did it <laughs> so I am glad at least that much happened anyway I'm gonna go downstairs now I can't remember what Zach's planned for dinner tonight hmm who knows anyway let's go downstairs shall we and join everyone else I um, mean, look at the state of me. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can tell. It's Saturday. I don't know if you can tell. It is getting dark outside, so I have not vlogged all day today. But I'll tell you why. Because I got up. I'm very slow. Had a nice, had a nice kind of Saturday lion and then basically ate some breakfast and then I watched through the October TBR which that video was so long honestly do you guys like watching such long videos I, I seem to be I seem to be unable to help it I would never consider myself a particularly chatty person but I guess there was quite a lot of content in that video so anyway it was so long um watched that through made a description box made a thumbnail, all that kind of stuff, our Wi-Fi went down, so that made everything much slower, and then um, then I edited the book video, which also took me ages. I forgot, actually, that I was supposed to say, so I said in my October TBR that I would say that when it comes to controversial authors, let me sit down a second, when it comes to controversial authors and their books, that you should take it on a case-by-case, -case, um, book-by-book basis, and the reason I was going to talk about that in my September books originally, sorry, <laughs> was because you may have noticed that I have not talked about, nor do I intend to read, Apirogon, I don't know if that's how you actually say it, by Colin McCann, because, uh, and that's on the book a long list, but it is not part of my long list, nor am I going to read it, because, um, yes, he has been recently accused of assault um, towards another author um, and in addition to that the content of the book so the book is about um, an Israeli man and a Palestinian man and their friendship and they they are real people I think this is what it's about anyway but and their um, relationship has been documented by people that aren't Colin McCann so I might do some research into that separately because apparently their story is very um, interesting and you know and important but what I didn't like was that Colin McCann being a white man wrote this book and got a load of praise for it and got along listed for the booker even though he is neither Israeli nor Palestinian and he's kind of using the words of other people and I just thought in combination with the fact that he himself has been accused of assault and doesn't seem like a particularly great guy, I thought that the two things in combination with one another um, made it not worth reading for me personally. Um, it is a choice I think everyone must make, make with the books that they read. Um, not everyone's reading is as public as mine, for instance, as well. Like I'm obviously documenting every book I read for you um, so that's different and you know you can make your own decisions but I thought in that case it wasn't worth reading um, especially I do hold authors who are publishing today right now to a higher standard as well um, because you know they should be aware they should know what they're doing they do not have to be deliberately ignorant and they um, can make informed decisions about whether they should be telling the stories they're telling. It's also why I'm not reading Girl by Edna O'Brien, which is about Boko Haram. I feel like you shouldn't restrict authors specifically to the culture that they're from and um, stories from where they're from, but authors just need to do it in the correct way. And there are correct ways of doing it um, and sensitive ways of doing it. And in this case, with Colin McCann, it didn't seem necessary for me to read it, nor for it to be on the long list. And I will link up down below um, the wonderful Areeb, um, otherwise known as Bankrupt Bookworm, on Instagram. Um, he has some great, like a great story highlight about 
that book and uh, Colin McCann if you are interested in in that um, because I think he articulates himself much better than I just did um, but yes anyway also there are levels of harm right like I think JK Rowling um, for example having you know she's one of the most if not the most famous living author on the planet um, her having such horrific transphobic views which causes real actual violence in the world um, that's like unforgivable so that's like so you know I will never be reading anything by JK Rowling ever again so like I said it's like a case by case book by book basis but yeah she, I mean she's gone and written a transphobic book now so anyway that's my stance on controversial authors and authors that um, are writing outside of their culture or zone or whatever. Um, anyway, Areeb recommended in his stories about Colin McCann that um, people go and read a book by a Palestinian author which has been published this year, could have and maybe should have been um, at least put forward for the book along list, and that is Susan Abu Hawa's um, Against the Loveless World. So I did buy that and I do intend to read it sort of as a replacement for Aparogon. Um, oh, where's the blurb? Okay, it's on the inside. So, Na has been confined to the cube. Nine square metres of cinder block, devoid of time. Journalists visit her but get nowhere because Na is not going to share her story with them. Many in the world call her a terrorist or a whore, and just as many call her a revolutionary or a hero, but the truth is more complicated than that. So that's my alternative, um, and that is why I have not mentioned, nor am I going to read the other book. And yes, that's probably very, very inarticulate, but I just realised I didn't mention it in my September books, so I just wanted to mention it now, even though I don't know whether um, that's very helpful for me to mention it in the middle of a long video, but anyway. Um, anywho, so then I was editing my September books and then I've decided that's going up on Monday because I do not really want to rewatch it through and get all the links together and everything right now <laughs> because it is 10 to 7 and I've been desperate to have a bath all day, don't know if you can tell, looking pretty dishevelled and gross. I'm going to treat myself to a weekend bath, it just seems like the weather for it today as well, it's gloomy, it's grim, it's grey, it's getting dark at 6pm or close to 7pm. Um, so it is just bath weather, so I just want to do that, so that is what I'm going to do, and also because, um, I haven't really had much spare time in the daytime over the past few days, you know, my evening time is usually taken up with just spending time with family, spending time with Zach, and so I don't do much reading in the evening usually, unless I'm like by myself, having an evening in by myself for whatever reason. Um, I might do some before bed, but it depends if Zach and I are watching a show together or not at the time. So I haven't even had the time to start Neverwhere, and it is the 3rd of October, and I've got a lot of books to read this October, everyone. I don't want to skip anything on my list, so, um, I need to get cracking. I really, really need to get cracking. Um, and I just want to have some nice reading time. Um, and usually my weekends are like my big reading time because obviously I have big swathes of daytime to read as well. Um, sometimes I have quieter weeks where I just fit in more reading, but yeah, not so much over the past few days. Obviously, I scheduled out time to finish The New Wilderness earlier this week, etc, etc. But anyway, let me get on with that. Let me run this bath. Um, I'm feeling a little bit chilly as well, so a bath is going to do me some good. So, as, as you can see, I um, bought myself a bath mat recently, uh, which is not stuck down properly. And that is because this bath is super, super long, at least for me. I'm very much looking forward to getting a short bath in my future home. I uh, don't know if I've said that before, probably have. I've been on here a long time. I barely remember what I'm saying all the time. But anyway, I've just put, like I did last time, I had a bath, a little bit of this um, beauty laundrette bubble soak in there. And then I'm also going to probably pop in an Aromatherapy Associates oil. Um, and I'm going to light some candles. I haven't lit candles for ages because it's been summer, you know, and I didn't have any summer, summery candles hanging around. Okay, spider alert warning. I know people don't like spiders. Look at this. Juicy little friend. Now, I 
used to hate spiders. In fact, I still don't feel massively comfortable around spiders, but these spiders live on this window. They just live there. Um, and there's a few of them. And they're all called Jeff. And I have come to accept them into my home and just accept that there are spiders that live there and thus far, okay, by saying this, they're definitely going to come and creep into my bed tonight. I'm going to touch some wood, but thus far, um, they haven't bothered me, they just live there. So, do you know what? I've been accepting these spiders, these Jeffs, into my home and it's been nice for me to make friends with some spiders, you know? So I've lit this candle. Um, which is the Marlin and Goetz um, cannabis candle. I think Zach got me this for Christmas. It smells so good, so good. Would highly recommend this scent. Hi my loves. So it is Monday and I intended to vlog yesterday and then I didn't want to vlog yesterday. <laughs> I had a really nice chill Sunday. So I'm gonna finish the vlog here. This will look very familiar to you next video because I need to start this week's um, Blogtober vlog but um, yes I had a really nice chill Sunday. I read Neverwhere all day. I'm about 70 pages from the end now which is nice um, and had another bath that really treated myself <laughs> um, and just yeah spent all day in various different pyjamas and it was very enjoyable. Um, and, and it rained all day. It looks like I can actually see some sunshine right now, which is crazy. If you live in the UK or, I don't know if it's everywhere in the UK, I think it is, um, or London, it has been raining non-stop for days. There are leaks all over the house. I mean, I've been enjoying it because it's kind of cozy, but uh, yes, it's been raining non-stop. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know what this vlog consists of, but I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you again um, probably the beginning of next week for my next October vlog. Bye!